once I quit being a dork, we can jump right into this tutorial. First, I'm going to prime my face and my eyes. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette and go in with this color called Buttery and use it as a transition shade. I'm then going to go in with this NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and just put this as a base on my lid. You want to fade this up into your crease a bit with a brush and this is really going to make those colors stand out. I'm going to take this lilac color from the BH Cosmetics palette called Take Me to Brazil and put that right above Buttery and try and fade that white pencil a little bit more. Then I'm going to go in with this color called Punch Fuchsia from Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette. Then I'm going to take this darker purple color from the Take Me to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics and just deepen up the crease. I take Buttery again on the blending brush and just blend that purple out. Then I'm going to go in again and deepen the crease a bit with that dark purple color. Then I'm going to take this palette, which I got on Amazon. It has a very gooey consistency, which I didn't like at all. But the whole point of what I was trying to go for here is put the teal in the inner corner and then take this green color from the palette and put that on the edges. This is me showing you I hate this palette after one eye and now I really hate it after two eyes. So I'm going to go in with the Take Me to Brazil palette again and take this blue color and just kind of go over that in the inner corner and then this green color from the palette and it kind of saves the day. I think it does a pretty good job. Then we're going to go in with this dark purple and black just to make it like a really dark purple and I'm just going to deepen up that outer V. I pull it into the rest of the crease here. As with any look, costume or not, the key is to blend. So this is just a regular brush, just in with no product at all, just blending it out. Now I'm just doing my foundation, and since you guys have seen this a bajillion times, I am fast forwarding through it. I'm laying down the foundation with a brush. I'm using my Buxom foundation today, and then I'm going to go through with a beauty blender and just blend it all out. I decided to use my Laneige concealer today because it's a little bit lighter and brighter and I'm getting less and less tan. But I'm going to put that underneath my eyes and then on my forehead, on my nose, and on my chin to brighten everything up and make it more even. I'm then going to take this powder called Emphasize from MAC. I'm going to blot under my eyes and then take a brush and just pat it underneath on the concealer and then all around the other parts of my face where I put concealer. Then I'm going to take the Hoola bronzer and my Eda brush and start contouring. Then I'm going to take a bigger fluffier brush and just take that bronzer all around my face. I just want, you know, it's a mermaid so I kind of want to be bronzed everywhere which you'll see me put it like almost on top of my concealer which kind of defeats the purpose but I don't know. This I was just trying to go for a really bronzed look because I feel like mermaids probably get the sun a lot. I'm going to take it down on my collarbone and on my neck and even on my chest just to make sure it looks bronzed all over and it matches the face. Then I'm going to go through and contour my nose with the Eda brush. And now I'm going to do my eyebrows, which today I'm going to use this NYX pencil, which I thought was green but is actually blue. And I'm just going to go over my already existing eyebrows with this blue color and just kind of make it look like an eyebrow as best as I can. I'm taking this ColourPop highlighter called Monster and putting it underneath my eyebrow and in the inner corner of my eye. Now I'm going to take a purple eyeliner pencil and just put it underneath my eye and then I'm also going to put it in my waterline. I don't know the name, I got it off Hot Look. Then I'm going to go in with this purple again that I use at the top of the eye. I'm going to just smudge out that purple eyeliner. Now I'm just going to go in with a fluffy brush again and blend everything out. Then I'm just going to take this blush because I wanted to make that inner corner a little bit more pink. And now I'm going to line my eyes with this NYX liquid eyeliner.
I went in and used whatever mascara I had on hand. It's because now I'm going to use this Velour Lashes in Doll Me Up, which is one of my faves. I'm just going to pop them on both eyes. I then reached way down in my makeup treasure trove and pulled out these Sedona Lace blushes and put them on my cheeks, which they are so pigmented if anyone's looking for really pigmented blushes. Then I'm just going to go in with Moonstone from Becca Cosmetics Highlighter and put that basically everywhere on my face because I love to be highlighted. I thought this look was missing something more mermaid-ish, so I went in with some glitter glue on the inner corner of my eye first and put this Violet Voss um, glitter with, which is just a silver color on the inner corner, and then I did the same to the outer corners of my face. Glitter isn't coming through in pictures, which is a shame because it's really pretty. Then I'm going to use this NYX Butter Lipstick in I have no idea what shade because I was surprised it came out pink when it looks purple. So I was kind of upset about that. But I put it on my lips anyways, and then I went through with this Maybelline lip gloss. And again, I don't know the color. I think it's something raspberry. And I put it on my lips over top to try and give it a more purple color. And here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope you turn into a mermaid this weekend.